Darby, do you have a moment? Oh, sure. Hi, Here Chris Valentine. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. It's Chip. Uh, Chris. Chris. Sorry, Chris. No problem. So we are with Premier Access Network. We have television star Darby Hinton with us today. Now you played the son of Daniel Boone. Yes, Israel Boone. Excellent. I, what was it like working back with Walt Disney and his studio? Well, actually, Walt Disney did Davy Crockett with Fess Parker, who did play Daniel Boone. Okay. So you're you're. That's excuse, a little bit of a tie in there. You're excused, Chris. All right, because <laughs> and I'm sure it's a little before your time. But uh, yeah, there was a problem with, with Davy Crockett. Once he got to the Alamo, the story was kind of over. So Fess went on and did Daniel Boone for six years for NBC, ah. where I got to play his son. Well, I understand Fess Parker was a big inspiration for you. Is that not right? Oh, absolutely. What was it like working with him? I mean, he was just wonderful. You know, a lot of what you saw on the television was him, his values, his, you know, family, country first. It was. It was a great time, and of course, I got to play with a lot of wonderful animals, which is what brings me here today because oh, I, I was going to say animals. That. Yeah. Oh, perfect. So you're a, a supporter of the LA Zoo. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, and my good buddy, unfortunately, Dan Haggerty, who just passed away. Yeah, we interviewed him. Oh yeah, I mean, he is amazing. Tell, yeah. tell us about him. Well, I, Dan and I, he was like the big brother I always wanted. We used to travel a lot together and do a lot of shows together, and we we were always going and if there was any way to help support the animals or do things for that, that we'd do it together so I'm thinking of him a lot today yeah. oh my gosh that's so interesting I mean he is one of our biggest following we put that interview up and there's so many people interested in him love him he's the real deal probably just like Vess Parker yeah yeah he was the Grizz was pretty much what you saw was what you got and then some <laughs> now I was reading about you last night and your incredible education it sounded like you went all around the world learning about different cultures now tell us about that I did actually three times uh, I was the SS universe which is a floating college it was first world campus of float an Institute for shipboard education and you're supposed to go on it for a semester and you go around the world well, they kept changing the route around the world, so I kept staying on it. So I actually oh. stayed on there for three semesters. But you started as a child in television. How can you start acting and working and then leaving to go to an education? Most keep going, they don't leave, because once you leave Hollywood, it's hard to get back in. Was that hard for you to leave the limelight? No, um, I mean, I started in the business when I was six months old. Right. <laughs> so by the time, you know, high school, college, I was ready to take a little bit of a break. And actually for my high school, I sent myself to Switzerland and I went to school there to, you know, see what that was like because I, before that, hadn't really had a normal school. It was all tutors on the set and right. stuff. So, you know, education's always been important to me. You know, the business is great, but you can't let it be all-consuming. That's true. Well, you seem like a very well-rounded, wonderful individual. Just you're you don't know me well <laughs> enough. <laughs> and you're still working. Yeah, do you have any upcoming right. projects you want to talk about? I do. That's why the hair is so long. I have a Western that I'm going to oh. be shooting in October. Where are you shooting that? CBS Backlot, Western Town? No, in Virginia, actually. Oh, so on location. Yeah, on location. Those are the fun ones. And can you tell us more about the story or the name of the project? Uh, it's Bill Tillman and the Outlaws. Okay. So I'll, I'll let you know more after we shoot. I'm one of those Hollywood superstitious. I kind of talk about projects That's, after they're in the I game. totally agree with that. I'm just I'm the same way. I don't tell anybody before it comes out. So You don't know this town. But can we find you on a website or Instagram, Twitter? Uh, sure. I got DarbyHinton.com or uh, Darby's Friends at Facebook. Excellent. Thank you so much for stopping by.